Hey guys, welcome to the shop. Uh, if you've caught my past uh, video, you'll notice two things right off the bat. The first, my Firebird, AKA Snowball, it's back in the shop. It was gone for 30 days. It was on loan to the Kansas City Automotive Museum for their big noise, big tire uh, event, uh, their, their display they had for the entire month of June. So it's good to have this back. Um, I gotta say having it here in the shop is going to only motivate me further to get this 455 build uh, going and continue to go. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. The second thing you'll notice is my noggin. No head trauma, no bandages, no blood running down the side of my head. <laughs> uh, in my previous post, uh, my, uh, I, I had no idea that I had a little head injury going on and uh, had some blood running down the side of my head, but all my medical friends were uh, kind enough to point that out to me. And, uh, and I can also point out that, yes, I've had a history of uh, maybe running into things or falling into things with my head that involves head injury. Waking up with a pool of blood at the bottom of the stairs. True story. No, I was not drunk. <laughs> it happened. Anyway, we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about piston assembly today. These guys here, Cali's Ultra Rods, uh, mating them to uh, JE Pistons. Um, which, installing these two, uh, requires you to use these little things, which I'll zoom in later, but uh, spiral locks. If you have ever tried to install spiral locks, you know what a pain in the ass they are, and that is not sugarcoating it at all. Fortunately, I found a fantastic tool that makes installing them super easy. So let me get the camera turned around here. I'll zoom in on some detail. You walk through, walk you through the process, and we'll go from there. Hold tight. Okay, like I said, we are going to, I'm going to show you how to build one of these, install one of these. We got our pistons, connecting rods, wrist pin, it goes in there. But the focus of our attention today is the little clips going in here, the spiral locks. They go, you can almost see it, but they go in that little slot in there. And I'm here to tell you, if you've never put those in, um, you're, you're going to in, invent and create new cuss words because they are a complete pain in the butt if you don't have the tool I'm going to show you. Uh, guarantee it. Uh, believe me, I tried. I looked at a million videos online. I didn't have any luck with it. And I ran across this tool. Bam, they pop right in. So, so cool. Hang on a sec. We'll uh, get zoomed in here and I will show you up close and personal how to install spiral locks. All right, guys, we're back. <clears throat> so the task at hand is to Take your piston, install the piston pin, uh, it's going to just pop right in there, and while you're doing that, put your connecting rod on. <clears throat> After those are all slid together, then you're going to take this spiral lock and put him down in this groove. Now there's actually two of them per side, so you put two on this side, spin it around two on that side. So thir 32 spiral locks for, the, for this engine build. So. First things first, <clears throat> I'm going to get a little assembly lube on the uh, wrist pin and the connecting rod as well. Just because once this uh, goes in the engine, you know, it's probably going to sit for a little while before I start this thing up. Um, get that all gooey. And do your, your wrist pin as well. Um, that's plenty. All this does just prevents galling a, on the initial engine startup. This is thick enough, it's going to stay on there for quite a while. Um, just protects, protects it from being worn when you first start it up. All right, I'm going to set him there and I'm going to put a little bit on the connecting rod itself right up in there. So, all right, so everything's well lubed up. Wipe this down. All right, <clears throat> so those are lubed up. First thing, the next thing, I should say, not the first thing, but next thing is 
you're going to take this little clip. Now that was supplied with this tool. This, this is a fantastic tool. Like I say, you'll see um, spy, yeah, locking tool. There we go, right there. Um, essentially what it does, I've already installed one of these spiral locks on it, just because I don't think you'd ever be able to see me trying to do it. What, you, what you've got to do is wind one of those spiral locks. There's, there's grooves in the side of this tool. I think you can see them there. They spiral down onto the tool. Um, all you do is, is sp spread one of your... Let me, let me get uh, this pulled out. So basically you just kind of pull this apart just a little bit and feed it onto that tool. Okay, so it spirals right onto there. So get your tool loaded up. We've got that guy done. Then the next thing you're going to do is this clip is supplied with the tool. Go ahead and put him, let's get this turned around, see if I can do this backwards, but he's just going to temporarily pop into the slot on the far side. What that does, it prevents the wrist pin from going all the way through. You're going to push that wrist pin in there. It just keeps that wrist pin from getting pushed out the other side. Um, let's see if I can See if I can do this and to a point where you can see it. Um, so slide your wrist pin in there, get your connecting rod on, and okay. So that clip, you, you can't push the, let's get around there, there you go. Um, set it over just a little bit. There we go. Get my hands wiped off too. Um, okay, so this side here, I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. So, we've got our clip on the other side that prevents the wrist pin from falling through. Um, let me turn this around as best I can so you can see it. Then all you're going to do is take, take your tool. You'll notice that when you slide slide your spiral lock onto it, there is an indexing, there's kind of a mark on here where you want it to end. Starting with that edge, kind of come in here, I'll exaggerate, but you, let me see if I can't do this. You're going to come in at an angle and kind of get that leading edge started in that slot. Let me set him down. Kind of come in there and then straighten up that tool Like so, then you're going to rotate. What I have found is, is first I thought a little bit of pressure was not needed. A little more pressure, push down, and then you're going to rotate him counterclockwise. So push down on that, rotate the tool, and bam, the first one's in. I'm telling you what, when I tried this the first time, I fought these things. I, 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 I'm embarrassed to say how long I fought trying to put these in until I found this tool. Best $33 I've ever spent. <laughs> so you saw how easy that first one went in. Um, well, I got you here. Let's just see if I can't uh, load him up and I'll do the second one. But they truly have all, all been that easy to do. Um, again, this is, gonna, this is probably going to be tough to see, but I'm going to try to do it here for you. Um, Again, I'm just taking the, taking it and spinning him onto that uh, slot that's in the tool. Again, this, I don't think you can see that, but I think you understand what has to happen. Um, again, I'm covering up everything you're trying to see, but I think you get the idea. Let's uh, get him turned around. Yeah, okay, so he's indexed. Oops, let me get him on camera. He's lined up with that mark. Now we're ready for the second second one. Again, that leading edge, I kind of I kind of come in at an angle and then straighten him up, push down just a little bit, kind of square him up, and then rotate it counterclockwise. Bam, number two is in. It, it, truly has been that simple and it's hard to see but those guys are now down in that slot that keeps keeps that pin from pushing out this way 
Um, I'll, I'll pull this temporary clip out and then do the same thing on the other side. Um, that's, that's truly how easy it is. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this tool. Uh, the guys at Lockin, uh, Lockin Tool, and let me see if, I'll tag them here in, in the post, but they make, they make two versions of this. They make a plastic one, and then they make a steel one. Uh, the steel one, if you're doing this every day, you'll want the steel one. Um, I, I think over time, these spiral locks tend to cut up the plastic and maybe wear it out. I, I don't do this day in and day out, so the plastic one is working fine for me. But anyway, if you install spiral locks, do yourself a favor, get one of these tools. It's, it's, it's beyond awesome. <laughs> I can't say enough because you don't know how much I struggled with uh, putting these guys in ahead of time. Other than that, um, as you can see, I've got, uh, let me give you a little pan around here, but uh, as you can see, I've got uh, several more to do. I've got two, two finished. I'll finish up this guy, get the pistons in, and um, okay, there we go. Uh, next step will be uh, piston rings. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll cover that as well, uh, but I'm going to get all these spiral locks in here first, and uh, we'll go from there. Guys, have a great weekend. Appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.